H&M, which is basically a high street clothing brand, has just launched home section in India. So of course I was very excited and I had to pick up a few things and check them out. So I'm going to share them with you guys in this haul video and tell you guys like my very honest experience with the products and what I think of them. <laughs> If it's your first time on my channel, then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I make regular videos on beauty, fashion, travel, lifestyle, home, ceramics, food, a lot of different things that I'm really into. So if you enjoy this type of content as well, please take a moment to hit the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out on new content. You already know that this is going to be an H&M home haul. I'm actually really happy about the fact that they finally launched in India. We really don't have a lot of options when it comes to buying cute interior stuff, you know. There's IKEA, but IKEA does not ship throughout India. It's only available in a few cities. Home center and a few different places are there, but we don't have these huge interior giants. A few years ago, we used to have Debenhams in India and they had really cool interior stuff. I picked up hardly one, two things and then they left the country, you know. Uh, so that was a bit of a bummer. It was five years ago when I was traveling in Bangkok. I got to shop some at the Zara interior store. So a lot of the brands that we know for fashion also have home wares abroad. They have their separate stores just for home things and we don't get them here. Now the launch of H&M Home also was a journey because I think in 2019 or something they had announced that they would start in 2020 but then the pandemic happened and the launch got delayed. Now it's available on the app. There are no stores yet. I don't know if there'll be in the future. Maybe in the big H&M stores you'll get some home stuff but I like that it's on the app because it's available all India. I think uh, e-commerce and online shopping is more democratic like that most of the time because wherever you live, whether in a big city or a small town, uh, you can purchase whatever you like and have it delivered to you guys. Uh, so I'm actually not in Mumbai right now also, uh, but I could still have this delivered to me. Everything that I show you guys is going to be listed in the description box below this video along with prices. So you know, you can go check that out. So let's just open this box. I mean, who am I kidding? I've already opened it, but then I shut it again. It's tightly shut. Yes. So they have a lot of different categories on the website. There's like decor stuff. There's some functional home accessories. There's not really any furniture. I don't know if H&M Home has furniture abroad, but they don't have furniture in India. Mostly smaller size things. And I did feel like a lot of the items were more for children. They would not find a place in an adult home. Like, okay, maybe if you're playful and you like children's things I'm not judging you but it was more that aesthetic there was ceramics and glassware which I didn't buy because I'm a ceramic artist so I was like I'll just make something you know uh, but I did find some things that were really cute so I'm gonna start picking them up and showing them to you guys and when I was purchasing the things I tried to make smart purchasing decisions so I didn't just go by the product pictures I also tried to see what materials were used to make it because I avoid buying just plastic homeware or something unless it's literally a storage dabba they also tell you the country of origin if that's something that matters to you like some of the stuff's made in India some of it's made in China I always check you know also first thing I'm going to show you are these little wall hangers that I got like basically the same thing in two different colorways. So I no doubt about design sometimes. I really love them. They kind of reminded me of um, this really well-known mid-century modern piece of design. Charles and Ray Eames, they were a couple who designed like furniture and homewares in the mid 20th century. So they have this wall hanger called the Eames Hang It All that I've always loved. That's obviously too expensive for me. Uh, so this was like a smaller type of Eames hang it all. It's not an exact copy, but the aesthetic is very similar. Uh, so this is metal and wood, just like the Eames one. And I think it's just really cute. It's 
it's mostly for the backs of bedroom doors or you can put this in a bathroom to hang uh, your towel or your clothes on and it's nice this is a, a more muted colorway it's just black metal with these unpainted wooden balls and <laughs> this one is a colored metal like a sort of a teal green uh, with the three painted wooden balls and one unpainted one one thing that i did notice right away about these that i didn't love is these balls that aren't painted four of them here and one here they already were developing a sort of um, texture on them like mildew so it's not spoiled or anything you can wipe it but that's not great because i live in a humid area so i think i'm gonna like try to wax them or something with wood wax just so that they have a little bit of resilience and they don't start developing mildew again so that is something to note i guess but um, i'm still really happy with them i love the colorful aesthetic of this one in particular and i think they had a smaller one that was just two hooks but this is four hooks this was made in india and a lot of the metal and wood stuff will be made in india as well as the fabric and textiles this is the next thing that i got also metal and wood it's so cute uh, so my <laughs> one complaint about this is this was available in two sizes but they didn't have any pictures of it staged and i really like when interior websites have staged pictures like where they show it to you in a house so you can get an idea about the size these were all just pictures on a white background and i could not figure out the size of it for the life of me it was available in two sizes and i ended up buying the smaller one it's definitely smaller than i imagined it's metal at the side and it's got this wooden base i thought that there would be metal underneath as well but there's not like the base is just wood and i think it looks nice you can keep some products in it in your bedroom you can keep it in the kitchen in the living room this kind of thing is really very versatile where you place it it's always going to enhance the surroundings <laughs> quite like this one and the wood of this didn't get mildew or anything now the next thing i have to show you was in this box but i already opened it up and this is a magnetic poster frame that i'm quite excited about it's still sealed this is wood and like textile and this one is made in china uh, so i've always wanted something like this i've seen them available abroad but this is the first time i saw it in india it is a really nice looking way to hang posters up in your living space because just framing every poster is very expensive and then the next option is just to stick it on the wall which you know it doesn't look very nice this it's like you put the poster in between wait there's magnets yeah it opens so you put this at the bottom of the poster you put this this is also two pieces you put it at the top you can hang it on a nail or a hook whatever i already have some posters lined up that i would be very happy to hang with this i'm really quite pleased with it this was also the smaller size and there's a bigger size available as well if you have some giant posters now the final thing that i purchased is textile related i actually bought this really cute bath towel it was a little expensive for a bath towel in my opinion i don't really know because my parents buy bath towels <laughs> but uh, i just thought it looked cute and it was worth checking out uh, for once i like that it has this waffle weave kind of thing which i like clothes also with this waffle weave and even on the bath towel something that has less pile is actually good so you know that those little fabric loops on normal bath towels they're called pile and they're actually not really good if you have curly hair so this does have some pile but it's less you know it's more flat i love the color they call it powder beige but it's obviously like this little blush pink kind of shade that looks pretty and it has this little trim as well they had quite a few towels like this available in multiple sizes you could get guest towels hand towels and even bath towel this is the smaller size actually they did have a bigger one also that's it for my haul there were actually more things that i wanted to buy but then when i ended up checking out their descriptions and stuff i just felt like that they would not be a great quality there was this rattan frame cat wall mirror that i loved the look of 
and then I read that the mirror part of it is actually acrylic it's plastic not glass it's just not going to work well as a mirror and it was not cheap and it definitely wasn't worth the money and if you are also looking to shop from H&M home don't get swayed by the pictures only because they're gorgeous actually check out the descriptions check out the material that it's made of and make your decision based on that otherwise I think there's a chance you might be disappointed with the quality of things I'm very happy with everything that I got but uh, on the whole the collection didn't impress me that much if you purchased anything from H&M home I'd love to know what your experience was like if you've already received the things do you like the quality or did you feel there was something to be desired is there anything you have your eyes on let me know in the comments and we will continue this chat over there thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time